Hi, we're at the 2025 Paris Air Show with NH Industries, who's showcasing for the very first time the NH90 Sea Tiger for the German Navy. We are now with the president of NHI, Axel Alosio. Good morning, Axel. Good morning, Xavier. What does the Sea Tiger represent for NH Industries? Uh, it represents many things. It's the uh, the latest uh, configuration of uh, the uh, anti-submarine warfare uh, NH-90. So it's really the best of what we have in terms of uh, of mission capability for this very specific and very uh, difficult market segment, which is uh, anti-submarine warfare. Uh, the Sea Tiger. Uh, brings the, the best in the world capabilities nowadays uh, for this type of activities and it's recognized by uh, most navies in the world as being the, the best helicopter uh, for this type of mission. So we are very proud uh, to showcase uh, today and, and all week long uh, this helicopter because uh, we are very proud of the capabilities it brings will bring to the German Navy and to all other navies who are uh, choosing the NH-90. So the German Navy is an existing uh, user of the NH-90 with the Sea Lion. Uh, what differs with the uh, Sea Tiger, the anti-submarine warfare capability as you mentioned and uh, weapon systems maybe? Correct. So today uh, uh, the German Navy is operating 18 uh, Sea Lions, but mainly focusing on search and rescue uh, mission in the North Sea. Uh, they are based in Nordholz in northern Germany. With the, the Sea Tiger, they will acquire those uh, anti-submarine warfare capabilities. So what are we talking about? We are talking about uh, a sonar, a dipping sonar, uh, which can go several hundred meters down the, the surface of water and detect submarines and let them know they have been detected. Uh, it includes also a set of sonoboys, which are boys that can be uh, projected from the helicopter and, and then uh, also do the same job, detect submarines by uh, triangling uh, their, their location. And of course, it comes with a weapon system. Uh, so a torpedo, uh, the MU-90 torpedo that you see here, uh, which, is, which is there not to be used preferably but it can be used uh, if if necessary and and submarines know uh, that the sea tiger is equipped with this torpedo and it comes also with the marte extending range marte ir missile from mbda uh, which is more uh, for anti-surface warfare missions uh, not so much used for anti-submarine missions but for anti-surface uh, warfare missions the marte is an outstanding missile with a range up to 100 kilometers so it's uh, a new helicopter with new capabilities anti-submarine warfare anti-surface warfare and of course with a little bit more teeth uh, through the weapon systems that we've just integrated. Uh, Qatar and uh, the Italian uh, Navy uh, started with the integration of uh, Marte ER, but you can confirm that the German Navy will be using uh, the Marte ER as well? That's correct. It's the same, uh, it's the same capability, yes. Has this been uh, tested already? Yes, it has been uh, tested. The flight, the flight campaign, the, 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 the firing campaign is, uh, is done and uh, it's, it's all working good. Uh, lastly, uh, Axel, what's next for the program? Oh, many things, uh, but if I would have to, to pick two things, I would say uh, first, lots of um, commercial activity uh, around the NH-19 and in particular around the Sea Tiger and, and the NFH in general. Uh, we see a lot of uh, questions and a lot of uh, uh, attractivity uh, for, this, uh, for this platform and in particular in this configuration we see a lot of customers, not just in Europe but also in the Middle East, in Asia, uh, and uh, also South America looking for uh, anti-submarine warfare capabilities and they know that the best in the market today is that one here. So, so a lot of uh, commercial activity ongoing, lots of discussions ongoing, including uh, during the, the Paris Air Show uh, this week. And second, uh, it's, it's about um, making sure that our customers can continue to fly and even can fly even more. With what's happening in, in the world today, uh, you know uh, that our, our NH-90s, whether they are in a naval configuration or land configuration, are more and more employed on, uh, on the field, on theaters of operations, and our existing customers are asking us to support them uh, to be able to fly even more and to be able also to fly 
even in high intensity scenarios, uh, which uh, is not what we want to, to happen, but we need to be prepared and they need to be prepared for that. And so there are lots of uh, discussions ongoing with, uh, with our customer base in order to, uh, to help them reach that level of readiness that will allow them to, to be uh, ready in case uh, we go into, they have to go into a high intensity scenario. All right, well, Axel, thank you very much. Thank you, Xavier.